planet Earth. It's home to an increasing number of human beings, but it's a home about which we still have much to learn. We have barely scratched the surface, so it's high time to dig a little deeper. Planet Earth, or as they say in Japanese, Chikyu. It is no coincidence that Chikyu is also the name of one of the world's most capable scientific research vessels. A purpose-built riser drilling platform with the capability of drilling kilometers into the Earth's interior. Chikyu is a good friend of the scientific community, particularly those interested in furthering our understanding of tectonic plates and in unlocking the secrets of some of the Earth's most remote and unexpected biospheres. Chikyu has both beauty and brawn, furthering our knowledge of seismogenic faults, their origins and evolution. The Joides Resolution is another IODP drilling vessel, a workhorse with different technology and more hours on her, but with the same goal of serving an international community of scientists seeking to explore the Earth's inner workings. And after her recent refit and modernization in Singapore, she is ready for almost any task. Already she is reaffirming her value in expeditions designed to further our understanding of climate change by analyzing seabed sediments recovered from the equatorial Pacific, major new insights into our planet's working have been developed, tested and validated. Meanwhile, a mere handful of miles from the funfairs and boardwalks of Atlantic City, the lift boat Cade has left her home ground in the Gulf of Mexico to research the distant past and possible future of our shorelines. New at 6 o'clock, a team of scientists is working in the Atlantic Ocean some 50 miles off the Jersey coast. And if that sounds romantic, remember that 70% of all human beings live on or near shorelines whose character is changing rapidly under the influence of global warming. The scientific consensus is that we are causing global warming. The New Jersey Continental Shelf is uniquely suited for research into this phenomenon, and the Cades drilling in an area that has been the missing link in a 15-year-long effort to drill a transect of mid-Atlantic boreholes has the potential to teach us how sediment from 20 million years ago can reach out to inform scientists about changes to our world today. In 2009, IODP was involved in more expeditions than ever before. Chikyu, Joides Resolution and Cade are in many ways the most visible exponents of such engagement, but many activities took place out of the spotlight. The public profile of IODP has been challenged by the need to connect the research we do with all the reasons we do it, from unlocking microscopic secrets of the Earth to nurturing an interest in geosciences in present and future leaders of society. High-level science and the general public are, after all, traditionally not the happiest of bedfellows. Now in BBC News Extra, we're going to take uh, a closer look on climate change. But here too, change is in the air. Outreach from IODP to students is adopting many forms. From the School of Rock in the United States to IODP presence in French classrooms and from children in Japan with real-time connections to tectonic expeditions to Dutch kids encouraged to ask their own questions and then find their own answers. This is the kind of thing that, that really inspires kids. You know, I've already had three kids ask me, well, well how, how do you get to be one of those kind of scientists? So that's, that's, this is the way to get kids hooked. And so it is not only the scientific community that is increasingly involved in IODP's work, it is also the future inhabitants of our planet. Today, to inspire children, tomorrow, perhaps a new generation of curious scientists. But in all cases, inhabitants of a small and fragile blue planet 
on which there is still so much to discover. Not because we scientists want it, but because our planet deserves it.